I suppose my passion for motorsport started at a young age when dad and I and my brother would always be in the lounge every second or third weekend watching the supercars on telly. And I always thought how cool it would be to join a race team and be one of the people in the pit stops changing tyres or whatever it may be. The first supercars event I went to was Townsville 2009 and pretty much went to every single one after that for like the next 10 or 11 years until I did a volunteering round, which was pretty beneficial for me just to be there and be involved in the atmosphere as well. The best moment from that volunteering round would probably be the fire in pit lane, which I was standing right across from. Um, that was pretty cool to be honest, because it's fucking hot when the flames went up. Um, but it definitely showed me how quick things can change and how dangerous it can be within a split second. Back in 2019, Dad and I bought a go-kart to race at the local Townsville Kart Club because we both had a passion for motorsport and really wanted to learn the ins and outs of how to go fast and how to go quick and race each other. Growing up in Townsville, I lacked the opportunity to pursue my career in motorsport as the local unis and TAFEs didn't have any pathways to do that. Throughout my apprenticeship, I went to a few test days at Queensland Raceway, which allowed me to introduce myself to a few teams and get my foot in the door. And it turns out Matt Stone Racing were the ones that allowed me to speak to them for a while to hopefully give me a job. And at the end of the day, it did. So from there on, two weeks later, I started and my first round was at Melbourne. The Supercars is a national racing series that travels all over Australia, including Melbourne at the Grand Prix, all the way up to Darwin. We go to Townsville, we go all the way across to Perth, um, even a local track at the Gold Coast. I joined Matt Stone Racing in March this year as the tyre guy for Car 35. Since then, I am now a number three mechanic for both cars which has progressed pretty quickly, which has been pretty cool, but it's very, very fast paced doing that as well. A number three mechanic is a float mechanic, which hovers between both car 35 and car 34, just to help out whichever car needs the help at the time. It usually means doing all the shitty jobs, but I don't mind that because at least I'm working on a race car, which is what I love. The environment within the team garage over a race weekend is quite cool. The vibes get high when you put the speaker on and the music gets cranking. Everyone's got their heads down, getting the cars ready. It definitely takes uh, a certain type of person to be in the environment. Um, you definitely got to be on the ball. Also, the willingness to learn and to do better. Just to be a team player is a, is a huge one as well. You can't, you can't be selfish in this industry. I had Jace join a side drive me going on the Yeah, I'm like, hey, I'm like I looked in my mirror last night, I said, I saw, I saw you duck to the left, I was hugging the middle, I was like, I'll go right. I see him, I see him, I can't see his headlights. I can't see his headlights. <laughs> so Darwin was a pretty special round for us all as it was um, Matt Stone Racing's first ever race win in the Supercars Championship. From the start of the weekend, we were pretty quick. And then once we got the pole on the Sunday for the last race, we knew we had to work hard for it, both the team and the driver. And then to also top it off to get the win for such a small team was really, really cool. You know, the, the vibes were high. I don't think we came down for a whole week after that. It was pretty cool. I'm definitely proud of where I am, especially being a dream goal since I was very young and sticking to it. In terms of, is this it? I could end up overseas or I could keep doing this for a while.